The future is, at lim is as limitless as our imagination. Mike McCready, the Program Research Chair of the Spatial Technologies Applied Research and Training Centre at Lethbridge College, introduced one of the first virtual reality courses at the college in 2016, where he taught students how to create mobile VR games. There are a few differences between augmented and virtual reality. McCready focuses on the social aspect of virtual reality, which is created in an environment through a simulated experience via a headset. In comparison, augmented reality creates an image or video through a computer or phone with the user's view of the real world. VR has also been used to help out people who have eating disorders. So what they would do is they would put them into a virtual reality environment, which would be in a restaurant, and it would have them walk through the mechanics of eating a meal at a restaurant. While it's not a real life physical experience, but the brain has a way of tricking and convincing us that it is somewhat real, but it allows them to practice that exposure therapy in a safe way, and then allow the uh, psychologist to respond to those uh, feelings right when they happen. Uh, which is which is proving successful. You might be thinking VR is fairly new, but the first VR experience with the mounted headset was created in 1968 by Ivan Sutherland with the help of his students, including Bob Sproul. Lethbridge College has already put themselves on the map nationally and internationally in 2021 with the first full day event called Merging Realities where social VR and AR activities took place and showed how each can help businesses grow. So having a technology that is a bit more of a cutting edge, a bit more new, has a way for you to be able to cut through some of that noise there. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.